Hey guys, how's it going? Mr Mitchell here. In this video we're going to go over some worked examples for the three equations of motion. We're going to do four examples for each one and if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic and that way you'll be able to apply what you learned there to this one. So let's get going. Question one says that a car initially at rest accelerates constantly at a rate of four meters per second squared for three seconds. Calculate the final velocity of the car. So remember the method for these questions, we're going to write down SUVA on the left hand side and pick out from the question what we know. So we've got s equals question mark, we don't know the displacement in this question. We've got u equals 0 meters per second because the car initially starts at rest. We've got v equals question mark, we're trying to find the final velocity. We know the acceleration is 4 meters per second squared and the time is 3 seconds. Now I'm putting a little star here next to v because you'll see I've got two unknowns. We don't know the displacement and we also don't know the final velocity. But we're asked in this question to find the final velocity so we can pretty much just ignore this s value for now because it's not going to appear in our equation. And so the star is just there to show me which quantity that I don't know that I'm trying to find. So writing down our equation, we have v equals u plus at. Substituting in the numbers, we get 0 plus 4 times 3, which gives us an answer of 12 meters per second. Question 2 says that a bus accelerates constantly at 3 meters per second squared for 4 seconds. If the velocity of the bus at the end of 4 seconds is 15 meters per second, calculate the initial velocity of the bus. So we're trying to find u in this question. So s equals question mark, again we don't know the displacement. We're trying to find what u is. We know that v equals 15 meters per second, the acceleration is 3 meters per second squared, and the time is 4 seconds. So again I'm putting a star next to the one I'm trying to find, which is u. So writing down the equation we have v equals u plus at. Substituting in the numbers, we get 15 equals u plus 3 times 4. So if I take this 3 times 4 away from this side, I subtract 12 from this side and this side, then I end up with 15 minus 12, which is 3 meters per second. Question 3 says that a trolley is accelerating at a constant rate of 3 meters per second squared. How long would it take to speed up from 2 meters per second to 11 meters per second? So we're asked how long here, so we're looking for a time. So as s equals question mark, again we don't know displacement. We know that the initial speed is 2 meters per second, v equals 11 meters per second, the acceleration is 3 meters per second squared, and the time is what we're trying to find. So I'm going to put a star next to that one. So writing down our equation, we have v equals u plus at. Substituting in our numbers, we get 11 equals 2 plus 3t. So if I subtract 2 from both sides first of all, I get 3t equals 9. And then dividing both sides by 3 gives me what t is. So t equals 3 seconds. Lastly, question 4 says that an air pellet is fired vertically upwards with a velocity of 29.4 meters per second. And 3 seconds later it comes to its highest point. Calculate the constant acceleration of the pellet during the 3 seconds. Same again, writing down SUVA on the left hand side. We don't know what S is. We know that u is 29.4 meters per second. We know that the final speed is 0 meters per second. The acceleration is what we're trying to find. And the time is 3 seconds. So I'm going to put a star next to A because that's the one we're trying to find. And writing down our equation, we have v equals u plus at. Substituting in the numbers, we get 0 equals 29.4 plus 3a. So if I want to get 3a on its own on one side, then I get 3a equals minus 29.4 just by taking away 29.4 from both sides. And then dividing both sides here by 3 gives me a equals minus 9.8 meters per second squared, which is acceleration due to gravity. So that's what you'd expect if there's an object traveling up the way and back down the way. Next, we're going to do four worked examples using s equals ut plus a half at squared. Question one says that a car initially at rest accelerates constantly at 4 meters per second squared for 2 seconds. How far is the car from its starting point? So we're trying to find the displacement s. So s equals question mark, u equals 0 meters per second. We know that v equals question mark, so we don't know the final speed here. a equals 4 meters per second squared, and the time is 2 seconds. So putting a star next to s because that is the one we're trying to find, and writing down our equation, we have s equals ut plus a half at squared. Substituting in the numbers, we get 0 plus a half times 4 times 2 squared. Don't forget the square here. So putting that into your calculator gives a final answer of 8 meters. Question 2 says that a three-wheel tractor travelling at 5 meters per second accelerates at a constant rate for 5 seconds. If the car travels 100 meters, calculate its acceleration. So we're looking for A in this question. So writing down SUVA on the left-hand side, we know that S equals 100 meters. We know that U is 5 meters per second. We don't know what V is. We know that we're trying to find A here and the time is 5 seconds. So I'm going to put a star next to A because we're trying to find that one. 
Writing down the equation, we have s equals ut plus a half at squared. Substituting in the numbers gives us 100 equals 5 times 5 plus a half times a times 5 squared. I've just put that in brackets to keep it separate so that you're doing that separately in the calculator. So then simplifying that, we get 25 here and a half times 5 squared. Well, 5 squared is 25, so half of 25 is 12.5. So if I subtract 25 from both sides, first of all, and then simplify this to 12.5a, then I get 75 equals 12.5a. And then dividing both sides by 12.5 gives me a equals 6 meters per second squared. Question 3 says that a lorry accelerates at 3 meters per second squared for 2 seconds. If the lorry covers 20 meters in this time, calculate the initial velocity of the lorry. So we're looking for u this time. So writing down SUVA on the left, we know that s equals 20 meters. We know that u equals question mark. We don't know the final velocity. We know that acceleration is 3 meters per second squared and the time is 2 seconds. So putting a star next to u this time, and writing down our equation, we have s equals ut plus a half at squared. Substituting in the numbers, we have 20 equals 2u plus a half times 3 times 2 squared. And simplifying this, we get 14 equals 2u, just by subtracting this half times 3 times 2 squared from both sides. And that gives you an answer of 6. So subtracting 6 from both sides gives us 14 here. And so 14 equals 2u, dividing both sides by 2, we get u equals 7 meters per second. Lastly, question 4 says that a stone is dropped from a height of 78.4 meters and accelerates under the influence of gravity at 9.8 meters per second squared. If the initial velocity of the stone is 0 meters per second, calculate how long it takes to strike the ground. So doing SUVAT on the left hand side, we've got S equals minus 78.4 meters. Now the reason I've used minus is because we're going to choose downwards to be negative in this question. So we're choosing upwards to be positive and downwards to be negative. So that means that my displacement downwards is going to be minus 78.4 meters. Your initial speed is 0 meters per second. We don't know the final speed. We know that A is minus 9.8 meters per second squared. Again, a negative because it always acts downwards. And we don't know our time. So I'm going to put a star next to the T because time's what we're trying to find. And writing down our equation, we have S equals UT plus a half AT squared. Substituting in the numbers, we have minus 78.4 equals 0 plus a half times minus 9.8 times T squared, which simplifies to 4.9 T squared equals 78.4. Now, the reason we've got no negatives is because they just cancel out. So the negative there cancels out with the negative there. So 4.9 T squared equals 78.4. Dividing both sides by 4.9 gives us t squared equals 16, and you should know that the square root of 16 is 4, so we get t equals 4 seconds. Lastly, v squared equals u squared plus 2as. We're going to do another four worked examples for this one. Question 1 says that an Xbox One controller is dropped from the window of a flat of height 35 meters after a furious teen loses a game of FIFA. If the controller is dropped from rest, calculate its velocity when it hits the ground. So doing SUVAT on the left hand side, we have S equals minus 35 meters. Now again, we're going to choose upwards to be positive and downwards to be negative in this question. So the controller is going to drop a height of 35 meters downwards, so it's going to be a negative displacement, a negative distance. So minus 35 meters for S, we've got U equals 0 meters per second. We've got V equals question mark, A equals minus 9.8 meters per second squared, again because acceleration due to gravity always acts downwards, and we don't know what our time is. So I'm going to put a star next to V because that's the one we're trying to find, and writing down our equation, V squared equals U squared plus 2AS, we substitute in the numbers to get 0 squared plus 2 times minus 9.8 times minus 35, so the two negatives here will cancel out, and we get 686. Now remember that's V squared, so we need to square root it, so square rooting that gives us an answer of 26.2 meters per second. Question 2 says that a motorbike increases its speed from 10 meters per second to 40 meters per second and covers a distance of 240 meters. Calculate the acceleration. So writing down SUVAT on the left hand side, we have S equals 240 meters, U equals 10 meters per second, V equals 40 meters per second, the final speed, and acceleration is what we're trying to find, and the time is unknown. So putting a star next to A, since that's what we're trying to find, we can then write down our equation, V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. Substituting in the numbers, we have 40 squared equals 10 squared plus 2 times 8 times 240. And simplifying this and swapping the sides round, we get 480A equals 1,500. And that 1,500 just comes from the 40 squared minus the 10 squared. And dividing both sides by 480, now gives us A equals 3.1 meters per second squared. Question 3 says that a trolley accelerates down an inclined plane slope at 0.2 meters per second squared and intercepts two light gates at points A and B. The velocity at point A is 0.3 meters per second, the velocity at point B is 0.6 meters per second, and then it asks what is the distance between points A and B. 
Well, this is another equation of motion question, so sue that down the left hand side. We don't know what s is. We know that u is 0.3 meters per second. We can take v to be 0.6 meters per second. The acceleration is 0.2 meters per second squared, and the time is unknown. So putting a star next to s, because we're trying to find that one, then writing down our equation of motion, we have v squared equals u squared plus 2as. Substituting in the numbers, give 0.6 squared equals 0.3 squared plus 2 times 0.2 times s, which when simplified gives us 0.4s equals 0.27. We got the 0.27 just by doing 0.6 squared minus 0.3 squared, and dividing both sides by 0.4 now gives us s equals 0.7 meters. Last but not least, we have question 4, which is a police car travelling at a constant velocity responds to a call and suddenly accelerates uniformly at 3 meters per second squared to achieve a velocity of 11 meters per second. If the car travels 16 meters during this period, calculate the initial constant velocity. So writing down SUVAT on the left hand side, we have S equals 16 meters. We're trying to find the initial speed. We know the final speed is 11 meters per second. The acceleration is 3 meters per second squared and we don't know the time. So putting a star next to u and then writing down our equation, we have v squared equals u squared plus 2as. Substituting in the numbers, we get 11 squared equals u squared plus 2 times 3 times 16. So simplifying the right hand side, we have u squared equals 25 and square rooting that to find what u is, we get u equals 5 meters per second. That's all for this video guys, I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Whoa!